This is the solution to written homework 48. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so the x intercept, that is to say, when y is 0 and z is 0, the equation becomes. 3x is 30, so that x is 10. So the x-intercept is the point is the point uh, 10, 0, 0. The y-intercept, that's when x is 0 and z is 0. So the equation becomes 2y is 30. <clears throat> so y is 15. Therefore, that intercept is 0, 15, 0. And the z-intercept, <clears throat> that's when x is 0 and y is 0. So that the equation becomes 5z is 30, so z is 6, and therefore the intercept is 0, 0, 006. So in the same manner that we did in lecture, we can draw a plane uh, and draw a plane in space. So z, y, and x. <clears throat> okay, so if this is, uh, say, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, we can plot points that we know. So we know 10, 0, 0. So that would be here. 10, 0, 0. 0, 15, 0. So over here. And 0, 0, 6. So 0, 0, 6. A little bit more. And then we can connect those dots. <coughs> say that this is the part of the plane in the first octant that we can see. <coughs> okay, similarly, <coughs> for this one, uh, the x-intercept, <coughs> the x-intercept, when y is 0 and z is 0, gives the equation x is 8, and therefore the x-intercept is 8, 0, 0. The y-intercept, y-intercept, when x is 0 and z is 0, that gives the equation 0 equal 8, which is not satisfiable, and therefore there is no y-intercept, and <coughs> z-intercept, that is to say when x is 0 and y is 0, <coughs> that gives the equation 4z is 8, so that z is 2, and therefore the z-intercept is 0, 0, 2. And then we can draw this situation. Uh, this is x. <coughs> y. Z. 
So an x-intercept at 8, a y-intercept, so x and y. And no, x and z. <coughs> OK. So if we say that this is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. The x-intercept <coughs> is 8, 0, 0, so here. And the z-intercept is 0, 0, 2, so here. And there is no <coughs> y-intercept. So that means that the plane is constant in this direction. It just keeps going that way and constant in this direction. <coughs> so it's like that. And finally for the for part C. x-intercept, that's when y is 0, z is 0. So in that case, we have the equation 0 equal to 12, which is not satisfiable. So therefore, there is no x-intercept. For the y-intercept, there's x is 0 and z is 0. That gives the equation 3y is 12, so as a result, y is 4, so that the y-intercept is 0, 4, 0, and the z-intercept, when x is 0 and y is 0, that gives the equation 0 equal to 12, which is not satisfiable, <laughs> so then there is no z-intercept. Uh, so, <coughs> just one intercept on the y-axis there, so we could say that it's here, and that means that the plane is parallel. this way and parallel to the x-axis this way. <laughs> and the actual plane that we see is a bit of it that I'm drawing anyway is this, a bit of plane coming out uh, parallel to the x-axis, parallel to the x-axis and parallel to the z-axis. <coughs>